Hey, I'm Alan. And I'm Morgan. And we're Project Tandem. We were on the road for 10 months. We decided to ride on giant FCRs, a hybrid bike that held up amazingly. We rode from New York to Florida to San Diego to Seattle and then zigzagged our way back through the Midwest to New York. We did just over 11,000 miles. We rode through 30 states. Our longest day was 112 miles over the Continental Divide into Fort Collins, Colorado. Our shortest day was on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. We had this one day where we only made it 12 miles because the winds were so strong. At the beginning of the trip, because we were out of shape, we were averaging only 20 miles a day. But near the end, we averaged 70 miles. So we were riding on this really beautiful rural road outside of Baltimore, Maryland, and we stopped at the top of a hill and pulled our bikes way to the side of the road. We were just sitting there looking at the maps, and this pickup truck came flying up the hill. And we both saw it coming, but we couldn't get any further off the road in time. And the truck came right at us and swerved just at the very last minute. The, uh, the side view mirror went right over Alan's handlebars, and the truck almost flipped off the other side of the road. There were a few times on the trip that I really wanted to read books that were only on hardcover, and the weight of a hardcover book is a really ridiculous thing to carry on a bike tour, but I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I guess my guilty pleasure has to be carrying my art supplies, my book to learn how to draw, ruler, pencils, charcoal, and sketchbook. The other guilty pleasure that we both shared was in Grand Bay, Alabama. We stopped at this little unassuming store on the side of the road, and it was called Dee's Pecan Company. We went in and they were selling the most amazing coffee we'd ever had in our entire lives, and we broke down and bought coffee on the spot and carried it with us. I think that coffee lasted all the way through the southern tier of the United States, but it was delicious and totally worth the wait and the hassle of carrying your own coffee. Vino's. Vino's. <laughs> it's a restaurant in Bogalusa, Louisiana, and the owner was so nice to us. He stored our bikes at his restaurant while we went and checked out New Orleans for a few days, and when we made it back to Bogalusa, he treated us to this incredible meal of basically everything he had to offer on his menu. It was unbelievably good food. We had etouffee and sausages and catfish. Our only regret was that we couldn't eat anymore. He must have brought us seven courses before we thought our stomachs were going to explode. But it was hands down the best meal we had on the trip. Kansas is not flat. <laughs> it's just these long rolling hills that seem to go on forever. It was really discouraging when we got there because we thought we were going to have a couple days of flat, easy riding. I shot with a Canon 5D and a fixed 50mm lens at 1.8. And I shot with a Nikon D200 with a fixed 50mm lens at 1.8 and a 17 to 35 2.8 lens. We used a Sony PCM D50 to record our sound. We took roughly 24,000 photos over the course of the trip. We stored all our photos on the sea rugged hard drives. Each of us carried two hard drives on our bike, one on each side, and they all carried the same exact information. Our thought was that if something happened to one of us, that the other one would have the information. But something happened to both of us. We had bigger things to worry about than those photos. There are outlets at most campgrounds, outside gas stations, and in restaurants. So basically, we just plug in and charge up whenever we saw the opportunity. When I was fully loaded with food and all my other supplies, my bike weighed 110 pounds. 
and my bike was about 85 pounds. We made a pact early on that if someone offered us a shower, we would take them up on it. The longest we went without showering and doing laundry was three weeks. It's kind of a toss-up. In Big Sur, California, we got to tent right underneath the huge redwoods, which was incredible. But we also really loved tenting in the desert because we would leave the fly off and that way we could sleep underneath the stars. They were incredibly bright tents. 